Hello Bethel Park Gamers, I hope you enjoy gaming this weekend. My name's Anthony Beltran, and welcome to our new episode of Bethel Park Gaming with Colin. Welcome everyone to Monster Hunter, to the world of Monster Hunter. More specifically, Monster Hunter Rise. Today I'm mostly going to show you guys around some of the maps on expeditions, show you controls, weapons, and introduce you to my two partners in hunting, my furry friends, so to be, and my number one hunter, Pike, and this is Balto and Tom. Tom and, being the one sitting on a table, and Balto being the one who looks like a certain sun god from a Capcom game. Sweet, man. Let's get to it, folks. Uh-huh. I'm back in this game now, boys. Uh, who is this guy? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Looks like a costume party. I'll be back! Give me a little chicken outfit! What does that oh. mean? Oh. Ah! Oh, you got yeah! Yeah! You got yeah! Yeah! Yes! Go. yes! Okay, so yeah, oh, Balto is called a power mute, and Tom is known as a palico. They are my hunting buddies in this game. As for right now, I am currently equipped with fireproof armor and a layered armor for my feet, but it's also fire armor currently. Large monsters, Great Izuchi, Baggy, Kulu Yaku. This is what he. This is an actual <laughs> picture of him. He's from World. Do not let Bird have stone. That's the one rule about him. Do not let Bird have stone. This is the guy who I have the that the arm gauntlets are from. Great Roggy, Poison Spitter, Azuros, Big Happy Bear. Well, not happy, but yeah. Right, gotcha. Lagombi, Giant Snow Rabbit. This is Volvedon. And Kutsum, he's basically a giant crane that looks like a cat. Most of the newer monsters introduced in this game look like are were based off of Yokai. He's based off of that umbrella looking one with the one eyeball and one leg. Yeah. Yeah, because he can actually like he actually like has this like frill thing on his head that'll like open up like it shows in the picture. I really need to, oh, I actually have a picture of him. See, this is what he looks like. Beautiful. That's him searching for food. <laughs> I got a big old nice one for a low drop though. Big old sponge neck. <laughs> that, those are actually sponges on his neck actually, because he shoots out water and stuff. Bear off. Fun fact, this big guy, he eats insects. And here's the cool thing though, he has a charge deck and you wanna know how you'll know when he's doing it? He'll start whistling like a steam engine and come charging at you. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, this guy uh, who does these videos called Monster Mashup for World, and for the intro of the one for Bear Off, the guy chipped over, wakes up Bear Off in his mud bed, he's like, what are you doing in my swamp? And, he does a, and then he does a head slam attack on him. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Kazu, no eyes, no ears, just a mouth and a stretching neck. Fun fact, he has no fight music. It's completely silent the whole time. That's how creepy he is. This is another guy. He is based off of Cap Kappa. This is Tetranodon, Sumo Sermo Duck Turtle. It'll eat up rocks and dirt to extend its chest while you're fighting it, so that way it can slam and ram you harder. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant by sumo. That is good. But Ceros, this guy, my weapon kept bouncing off of him because he's made out of rocks. Don't even get me started on his laser beam. Yes. I'm a fire in my laser! <laughs> Tomigodachi. <laughs> look at how... I am surprised at how camouflaged he is in that shot. Good lord, look at him. He was also introduced in World. He, he has membrane on his arms that let him fly like a winged squirrel, but he's also electric. So he's basically a giant squirrel lizard. This is Magnamolo. Oh my god, was this guy's fight crazy. He was the one that allowed me to step up in the high rank. Oh my god. When I saw it in an area where you're hunting him, he'll like go to the far corner of it, jump up into the air, and do a death charge attack at you. Oh. Back when I first played World, this guy was a pain in the ass. It's like, okay, so you just finished fighting Toby Kodachi, and you're thinking, yeah, yeah, you're thinking of going about yourself, you're going about yourself, you're liking this game. Did you really believe <laughs> it would be that? Easy. Yeah, because this was the first guy who actually caused me to faint in world. And when, that's what happens when you run out of HP in a hunt. You, you have like three tries. Once, once the third one happens, you fail, you fail the quest and you're taken back to the, um, taken back to the main hub area. Nagakuga. Their tails have quills on them, sharp quills, and, they're, and on their wings, on the tip of their wings, are blades. Basically, panther wyvern. Nice. I just hunted him yesterday. Like, Mitsune, <laughs> you what? <laughs> I, I think that's him looking. To, yeah, that's to, that's Tom in the box. That's either my Palamute. That's either. Bo Let me take get a close look. That is, I believe. Yes, I do believe that is either me or Tom. The, no, I think that's Tom in the corner there, about to get wrecked. Absolutely. 
And that's him getting attacked by by uh, Sonocanth in the picture. <laughs> Basically, happy Bubble Dragon. There, you. Here's the thing, though. Uh, especially if all those, uh, Wyvern, Mitsune can secrete a peculiar foam that covers its foes and immobilizing bubbles. Basically just causes them to slip and slide around running. That's actually a st status you can be given in this game. When I first saw it in Generations Ultimate, I was laughing my ass off. Because oh. <laughs> I was just like running around like this, like, ah! Anyway. Small monsters, these are like ones you'll find. Wild Balakos or Feline. Melanix, these guys will try to rob you. Kelby, basically Green Deer. Tanukis. Bogabees, explosive Tanukis. Gargras, flightless big birds, Popo. How do I not have a picture of a Popo? Oh, here's a picture of a Popo and a baby. Oh, cute. Uh, this is Anteca, Slagtoth. Look at how happy he is. Uh, Kestodon, pretty much uh, those hard headed dinosaurs, pretty much. Mm hmm. Uh, Renflops, miniature, t uh, miniature Triceratops, Bullfango. I really wish his big drum counterpart, Bull Drum, was in this game, but sadly, no, he's not. I enjoyed uh, hunting Bull Drums. Jagras, in, introduced in uh, World 2, they were. These guys are like ones you'll find around the map that you can hunt for like very little stuff, like the big monsters that you have to fight. Yeah. Usually, if you have to go on a mission to hunt these guys, you have to hunt like a large number of them. They're not hard to fight, they're like fodder, basically. See? See how bigger the numbers are that I slain? I've only slain three of both fangos. Are you kidding me? I've slain five, ten. One. One. Delex, there. These are sand fish. That's Tom getting ready. That's Tom and Baldo getting ready to rip his ass. <laughs> it's like, time to die, boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to go and remove uh, Balto's little armor so you can see what he, what he and Tom look like normally, and then we'll get started on a hunt. I'm sorry, I'm getting it. I just love showing stuff off for this game sometimes. Yes, you do. Okay, so this is Hino Hinoa. She'll be giving my quest for story mode. There's a multiplayer hub area over there that we can still go into even if we're offline. It'll just be single player hunts, basically. This is a shop where you can get weapons, uh, though I prefer making them at the blacksmith and the buddy smith. <laughs> I actually imagined, like, during the um, uh, intro cutscene of... Uh, um, world when uh, you get separate from your Palco because you get hooked onto the uh, main Elder Dragon you've been chasing at the beginning of the game. The reason they're chasing him is they're just studying him. So, the funny thing was, Tom, your Palico gets hit by a barrel and you get separate, only to re uh, meet back up at the main hub area. But I imagine Tom being out of that <laughs> whenever he gets hit in the mm -hmm. face of a barrel and falls off. Oh man. Yeah. Poor Tom. Of course, oh. I have this on another. I have this on my, my Palico Ibuki currently, so but yeah, I prefer having Tom just the way he is. Dude, that dude just literally just walk on top of your <laughs> yep, screen. Yeah, they do that. Why they would they do, do that when they're when we're just? They have to. Yeah, <laughs> it's how they're programmed, sadly. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is what the mysterious armor looks like on him. Dude, he looks like a transformer, man. <laughs> yeah, I actually do imagine him balling up, but he has another thing I can do with him. I can ride him. Okay, this is a Yori. For buddy scouting is what gets you more uh, buddies to do. These guys are currently some of the ones from my thing training to get their levels up. Tom and Balto have been leveling up as I've been hunting. Because I have them equipped. Oh, hey, you're back! Who's so, back? This oh. guy. I sent him out on a little uh, collecting thing yesterday. Meowsen is probably haven't come back yet, but... This guy sends them off, they leap off on like those ninja kite things, and then he gets out a giant fan and blows them away even farther. Right. Oh, it's not as brutal as how the deployment of Nyasenaries was in World. They dropped them on an anchor, like on a like anchor platform thing. <laughs> but the thing is, they they like accelerate the dropping of it. It looks like one of them like lets go and flies off when it's going down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just like, are they okay? But yeah, they all come back fine. What's Hello, Inoa. Ah, it's Village Quest. Not doing five star. Ah, Sonic can't. Ooh. Mm. Very off. I haven't really hunted one of him yet. Uh, Green's Possession, that's what a Rathian's usually called a Queen, Volvedon, Baceros, Bashantan. No, it's sweat. Go on it. Go back, it's time to kill a monkey! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, accept this quest. Good luck. A dango! Ah! No, this is not, not what I him. Do. There okay, we go. Okay, there we go. Just Can't gets off it. <laughs> Just eats. Eat him, heal! Hello? Uh, let's see. I'll pay with my points. Let's go with my first one. 
It usually cuts you know for singing a song while they prepare it, but I'm going to skip that. Here's a victory for activation of effects. All right. And now let's go. Let's depart to go to the quest. Mm-hmm. Which you already did, but that's Yeah, fine. I'm redoing it because I'd want to do an easy one. Yeah, heck no, I'm not starting this video off of me going after Magnum Mall. Heck no. I'm going to wait a while until I get better weapons and stuff to go back after him. I got a sword and shield I want to make for him on it. Make from his stuff, honestly. Like you Pretty do cool. say. Oh, you... yeah, by the way, you did just see me send off a penguin. Okay, now, um, where is he on the map? Uh, oh, there he is. He's off. He's off by area six. Okay, endemic life will sometimes boost you with stuff. Help you like fight off monsters. Like you can get like a like right here. You can get a third wire bug. You can also gather stuff on the map like bones used for making armor or stuff for crafting like uh, healing potions like herbs. But I'm already full, so I don't really need those. Okay, here he, here's big boy. I there can, he actually, is. Actually, wait. Uh, where's my camera? Why well, could you just snap it on your switch? No, I, it has to be actual in-game camera. Oh, oh, okay. Now it explains why. Oh, got his rear end, though. Oh, I got away from the turnaround, perhaps. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, no. Nice. Yes, that was good. Okay. Let's go. Oh, my God. He's a big old boy, isn't he? He is big. Look at him go. That's my wire bug tech. That's my switch skill. Oh, God, he just tried to chase. Oh, no, he's wow. just on the wall. Get off. Mm. Oh, he's down for a little bit. That's good. Well, that's because this is a very high damaging doing weapon. Higher damage than I should have, than I had when I originally hunted him. Meaning I'm probably going to be doing him faster than I originally was. He, he likes to toss fruit that he has on him. Likes to toss poisonous fruit. Bit of a pain sometimes. Kick his ass. Let's go, man. Okay, now when hunting monsters, you can break parts of them. Like their you can cut off their tails, break wings. It'll cause them to... Ah! Hey, stop breakdancing on me. <laughs> right to the face. Give me that tail. If only we know the stamina for this guy. Oh. Uh, nope, never mind. Ah, no, he threw a flash bear. No, no. Not me. Ah. Oh, they were stunts too, so they couldn't help me. Your pet, your partners will usually knock you out of uh, stuns half the time. Oh, oh, he dropped a bunch of stuff. Oh, good. That's exactly what we need. He needed. Material, flash fruit, flash fruit. Oh, I can only have these till like the end of the hunt. Except for that. Except for Bishanthin. I get to keep that. Okay, so now the other thing I was trying to say that you can do with wire bugs is called a uh, wyvern riding, where you'll basically, oh. where you'll basically string them up with a bunch of uh, wire bugs, and you'll be able to control them like a puppy. So you can like battle other monsters with monsters. That it help it's very helpful sometimes in damaging them, getting them in the turf wars, but which are like. Cinematic like fights between the monsters, they're very useful for weakening the monster you're trying to hunt. I might actually catch this guy and show you how catching works. Because hunting you basically just hit them till they die. Uh oh. But, uh, oh, I dodged that thing. Nice. It was like a Poison split second no decision. Oh, God. Yeah. Weird move, oh. but at least you didn't get damage. Almost? No. Nah. Well, you'll know when he's getting tired for me to catch him because there will be like a little blue symbol underneath his picture up there in the corner. My act, oh, my face. Okay. I got you. Yeah, missed. Like I said, I'm not really the best hunter here, so I think he might be getting enraged. I don't know. Really? Some monsters are more. It's more easy to know when they're enraged. Some not really. Ah. At least okay. you're almost there. Oh. Got my ass. Oh, hey, but we hurt his hand though. I need to sharpen. It's best that you keep this thing sharpened because you'll keep doing more damage if you do. Ah, oh well, that God. is exactly what you did. Yeah. Oh. Where is he going? Come oh, back here. No, you don't. Yep, our hunter actually talks for once, unlike the previous titles where it really won't except whenever you'd get hit or something. Like you hear Ugh! or something like that. But now you have. but yeah, his oh no you don't pretty much signifies that the monster's fleeing to another area. Uh and then he'll like shout out that it's going to hit hard when it's doing like a big attack, basically. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Nope, not that. I'm still getting the hang of the wire bug, though. Come here, buddy. Ow! Oh, come on, man, die. These guys have a lot of health. I mean, ow! Stunned me. Thanks, Tom. But still good on health, though, I can definitely well, tell. Well, yeah, because of how tough the armor is I have. Knock him off. Oh, there we go. Mine? This is mine, mine. now. This that. is all yours, man. As long as you have, have enough, enough 
uh, money. Is it money or is that fruit? As long as you have enough fruit. Ah! I'm no sorry, sir. Me, I cannot give credit. Come uh, back when you have a little. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I forget what the money's called. This game. I think it's called Zelly or something. What is he? There he is. Come back when you have enough. I mm, darn it. Sell you. I just kept spamming this move with Anjanath yesterday when I was hunting him. It helped out a lot. Oh, come on. Get back. Really? I know I mean, you got go. away. We gotta go get him. Let's go. After his ass. We're not done yet. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Got off of him and just started to attack. That's what happens when you press B while riding your pal mute. Oh, there you go. Get him. Now it's the time to yeah, do Yeah, he's so. tired. He's tired. See how he's doing that? That means he's getting tired. Or well, not tired for me to catch him yet. No, it just means he's getting exhausted during the fight. They'll usually like run up to an area and find like the food they eat mostly. Well, it's not here, right? Right. It's not here. Oh, I just broke another part. I think I broke one of his hands or his face. I don't. I clearly yep, can't yep. tell. Is, oh, we toppled him. Help us, Jagris. I was about to say, what is he doing here? It looks like he's your helper. Oh, uh, no. Like either, he'll either, he'll, they'll either attack the monster or you. They don't really have a certain side. You can You can actually tame them in world and ride them, but that's part of something from Iceborne. I mean, you have to have Iceborne in order to do it. Okay. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Our parade is no. right for the capture. Thanks, Tom. Place this down. Ow. Wow. Oh. I, like just, I have to wait for him to get in it, though, before I uh, can catch him. Come on, buddy. Come get me. Come here, boy. Yeah, he went by it. Come on, come on. Come here, boy. Ah, he's really? Break dancing Over back. at the wall? Come on, come on, come on. Over here, Over boy. Here. Over here. I'm come here. No. No. Nope. Oh, no. Hey, there we go. And now to drop him. There we go. And good night, sweet prince. He is done. Good night, sweet prince. And you take some more pictures as good luck. Yeah. Returning to the village. Well, we'll do that. Good job, buddy. See? This is how friendly these guys are. <laughs> I just love how much of a stupid nut I look like with that helmet. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I barely even, it looks like I can barely see out of that thing. I will I will take all, thank you. Mm. Level okay, so Ooh, elemental bolt elemental attack. What Tom get uh, he learned fleet foot feet support moves and he learned the flagration relief deflagration relief buddy skill huh awesome mm -hmm. uh, yeah this is a fun game I actually just honestly got back into playing it the other day and I'm trying to get through it yeah so you say you were actually well meh, maybe next time if I do this again I'll show you guys off a rampage quest it's more like a that one's more like a tower defense base defense thing it was introduced in this game it was it's, it's not too bad though there have been games where you had to like defend them against like giant or monsters before let's give one of my lesser used ones let's give some what about that level two cat what level two one well I, I'll get him up training but I mean, the tra you saw what they're training against. They're just training against a giant thing. And you want to know the other thing about that? That thing they're fighting is piloted by another Palico. So, no really too much problem there. Okay, let's see. So, I need... For the park. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, my... Wait. Hold up. Let me... Let's see a preview of this. He's a Bobby! Good <laughs> 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 One day, old chap, I'm here to club your head in. <laughs> This is slag talk. I mean, he's a frog. Hmm, yes. Rhinopolis. Oh, yeah, these guys, they become like heavy armored bears. That's very interesting. Jaggy. Oh, the knight. Eh, soldier, more like, is what it's technically called. Kulu. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? I that? am now Arabian. <laughs> Roggy. And a Mexican. <laughs> Hola, senor. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're making him this. Hola, senor. Oh, yeah, feline acorn. I actually had the acorn armor, uh, the hunter sized acorn armor on uh, Pike in um, Generations Ultimate because that I have that on uh, Catch a Watch uh, uh, Feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't really play much of Ultimate too much because, well, continuing on, the story is getting difficult to do. It's a higher difficulty. But I'm uh, making it through otherwise. <laughs> there he is. Hola, senor. Okay, let's see what a better weapon. 
Okay, and can some, let's see what this looks like. Uh, Oh, yeah, man. pull out night. The draw. All right. Bear off. Nut. Maid. Kezu. No. Nurse. Oh, nur I'm even better. Ah, <laughs> if the nurse is coming to give me a shot of that big ass thing, I'd say hell no. <laughs> I'd be running in the opposite direction. Uh, Tetranodon. Um. Look, fun fact he doesn't shoot anything with that, he uses it as a club. If you see them have any sort of like gun-like weapon on their back, they're not using it as a gun. It's only going to be clubbing something in the head. Look at that. What is that? A big like shuriken? Yes. Just... And then here's that thing I got from the shrine, Uga Chaka. <laughs> I already have it. Okay. And let me introduce you to one last little buddy, a friend of mine. This is my Kahoot. Oh. Hootenanny. The penguin. No, read what his name is. I'll learn a Hootenanny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is layered uh, costume form. I have a bunch. I can make them like a little. This, oh, yeah. this is what a kahoot normally oh, looks like. So cute. But yes, for right now, puffy little penguin. I can also make him a little dragon. But oh I prefer the penguin. Oh, prefer the penguin? So yep, I prefer the penguin. All right, I'm for food. All right, so thank yeah. you all for watching this episode of Buffalo Park Gaming, and make sure you like and friend me at Buffalo Park Gaming's Facebook page. Do not forget to subscribe to BPTVs and Buffalo Park Gaming's YouTube pages. Keep on gaming.